Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play uh, some new games on Chronic Gaming. Uh, this is Chronic Lotus signing in. Um, today we will be taking a look at Kingdom. Uh, I just started a new game. Uh, let's get started. This game is a game I found on Steam. Uh, it was on sale when I bought it. Oh, look at the Kingdom. It, it's kind of crashing. Uh, we... I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I'm sorry. I didn't do it. So this game is uh, a small indie game as far as I'm aware. Uh, I actually don't know who the publisher is. I should know this. Uh, but right now, um, I think it's $10 on Steam. But the main point of this game is to collect coins. And right now we are playing as a princess on a horse. And these people, if we give them money, will become our our workers look at that boom look we already have a town it's kind of like a, a sim building game this guy can take an arrow and this guy can take a uh, a hammer uh, it's kind of like a, a, a small sim building game where your character doesn't have a lot of interaction but you're basically controlling these units by either collecting them or exploring or making new items you make judgments based on how you want to build your base like this I want to build this up into a tower and so now the oh that guy ran over uh so now that guy with the hammer is gonna come over he is our worker and then this is our archer man they, they actually run now that's so cool uh, I must have missed an update but they do run now I guess uh, I don't remember in the past that they ran um, so basically we're trying to get into a oh, I see some people here. we're trying to build a town that's thriving I guess not th thriving but um, you can see build expand and defend is like the recommendation we're trying to get a town going that is gonna thrive and it's gonna be able to survive an onslaught at night and at night you'll see pretty soon what's gonna happen um, and you can see right now we have a small little base nothing too fancy nothing too big um, but our main goal right now is to basically survive one day and get some more workers in and look they run now that's so cool they used to not run in the past and this little bag up in the top right corner is our money bag uh, we get money from hunting uh, if these villagers slash workers collect coins for us we will collect those coins later at, uh, they will drop off those coins to us later on um, and they will fill up our bag and our bag is basically our currency to do anything in this game um, from building either walls defenses more units building arrows uh, bow and arrows our hammers to keep the game going and you can see right there these guys will hunt at night and you can see right there he gave me his money that he has collected every time they kill a rabbit they get I think one piece of gold and um, when they kill a deer, I think it's four pieces of gold. But you can tell right away that this game looks amazing. It has a really simplistic art style, and I really, really like it. Um, I mean, just look at the water. How cool is this? Um, I mean, it looks fantastic, at least the water aspect. But it's a beautiful game. Uh, probably a real, a real gem if you're into games like this. And so at night, uh, now that we've entered the night phase, goblins are going to come out, and I don't know if they're goblins, as much as I would call them monsters, maybe? Probably just monsters. Oh, there you go. You can see them right there. And so that guy's going to come over, and he's going to attack our base, and this happens on a regular basis. This is like the whole fundamental process of the game. We are going to be under attack, like, at all times. Shoot him. There you go. Nice shot. And so that was it. That was basically all that we needed. Um, this wall got a little bit damaged, but it's okay. Um, our worker will come over and fix it. And actually, we'll upgrade it. And so he'll come over and upgrade it. And now we have a single point of defense right there. We'll start building walls, we'll start building defenses, and then we'll expand outwards. And this is a really good way of preparing yourself for the day of. Um, now it's day two. And you can see right there, they're hunting those rabbits, they're collecting those coins for me. 
and it's a brand new day and it's good to go oh but just just listen to that music it's so it's so good uh the art style the the music style is just it's phenomenal and we will fix this kingdom if given the opportunity um personally i've only played uh, about 10 hours of the game and i've actually never beaten it i have a younger brother who has though and i actually haven't talked to him about how to beat it um but right now we're gonna travel into the woods drop off these coins to these people we give them coins they come back to us and all of a sudden we have extra workers that we can use and if there's anything I found out in this game is that you want to have as many people as possible uh, regardless of whatever it is that you're doing having more people is always a good thing um, you can sprint and right now I'm using the Xbox control and you can see that our horse is getting a little bit tired so I'm gonna let him eat some grass that's a key secret right there that if you let the <laughs> if you let the horse eat some grass he's gonna feel better or she I'm not exactly sure that's our preference drop me some coins yeah so you can see right there we have coins now let's build up this let's get another worker out with a hammer um, those guys will come back and then look every day well not every day but every occasional day we'll get like a chest um, that'll drop off some more coins if we survive the night and you can see right here we have our wall going and it's really cool that your workers will go back into the wall as soon as they know that they can uh, they know where the walls are at basically yeah, you can have some more coins too oh here we go here's a good guy to talk to he's actually a merchant if we give him four coins he'll go over and drop off say some hammers some bow and arrows straight to our village for four whereas everything else if you wanted four bows and you paid for them yourself they'd cost eight gold and uh, the game just looks fantastic I mean look at this artwork so this is a statue that we can put a uh, coin into once it, it'll build itself I don't think we need workers to come build it and it will help our warriors I think Oh, we found a chest look at all that gold and so you can basically get the idea of this game right away that the kingdom has been destroyed and now you're a new queen with the ability to save the kingdom. Oh, here comes that gremlin goblin slash sky. Now we can outrun him on the horse as long as our horse doesn't get tired. If he gets tired, he can catch up to us fairly easily. Now you don't die with one hit. What really happens is they take coins away from your purse um, or your coin satchel. And by doing this, you know, you lose money. You're losing like the fundamental source of like power in this game. You're kind of in a cruddy place um, but you know what let's keep going and uh, let's see what we can do personally one of just my favorite games I probably should have started a little bit later and then scooted on so you guys can see what happens once you finally get started but let me just show you so we can upgrade our actual town and look all of a sudden now we have banners uh, it doesn't really mean anything and you can see right there that that merchant dropped off four hammers so now we have four workers so we have we have a lot of good stuff going on tonight. Um, in worst case, I'll actually skip the video a little bit. And I'll cut forward to when we're actually more powerful, more substantially powerful. That way I can show you guys a little bit of everything. But um, right now, that goblin just attacks. I'll play it for a few more minutes and then we'll cut We'll cut forward once we, once we know that we're safe. And I can show you what really happens Like once you finally get really going. I'll probably cut to maybe day seven. 9, 10 maybe. Just give me a few minutes and then we'll do that. Um, but that's basically the gist of the game so far. Um, like I said, if you're just trying to build, become more powerful, become a bigger, stronger community with better, better gear, better units, more units than before. Um, and you're basically just trying to upgrade your kingdom. You're expanding your walls and you get to the point where everything is just flowing and it becomes really good for you so we'll transform this and uh yeah give me a few seconds and then we're we'll be right back uh i'm gonna play for a few more days and i'll cut to it so that way you guys can see what really happens later on and how how advanced the community can get hello everybody welcome back uh this is an important night uh, i wanted to put this in this happened on day seven i thought it usually happened on day five but i guess not as you can see, we're under a lot of attack. It's a blood moon. 
And, uh, well, we survived the attack just because we had the fortitude to do it. But, basically, on a specific day, I thought it was day five. They must have changed it. Uh, on day seven of uh, today, we have a special event. And it's basically the game telling you that it's going to ramp up its difficulty. It's going to give you a, a more enemy-based wave uh, attacks coming out. You're gonna get attacked on both sides and you can see oh that was day six so now it is day seven and uh, we begin again um, but the, the music is just so good uh, the art style is so good um, but right now it's kind of it's it's really kind of sad uh, you know we we're running through the forest and you can tell that the kingdom is just in ruin and you are a queen who who's trying to just rebuild, uh, trying to get this poor melancholy story back in the line. I mean, look at these people. This guy's just out here with his hand open. Don't worry, man. I got you. See, now he's going to come back. He's going to have. He's gonna be a worker. He's going to be a brave warrior. I just want to come out and show this. This is actually very important. This is a, a statue I built yesterday. Um, this is to upgrade your walls to stone. Um, beforehand it was wood which means you're only allowed to build up to the wood level of structures so basically if you have a say a wooden wall and you'd like to make it stronger it goes up to a stone wall now now that we've upgraded that and it builds automatically you don't have to have workers come out and come build it for you it builds automatically once you give it the coins but it is super important and right next to it though uh, I don't want to go too far there is a portal this portal is where those uh, monsters slash goblins creatures come out of. Um, if you get too close, one will spawn and it will follow you to the end of the earth <laughs> until you run all the way back to camp and kill it. And then say you had those like those uh, civilians or uh, workers that I've had, like I gave them a coin here too. If it catches up to them, it'll hit them. They'll lose the coin that you gave them and they'll go back to being just regular like uh, non-workers. Basically like uh, just like stranglers, you know living in a harsh environment so there you go if you can lure some deer over to your archers get a lot of coins so we give that to this guy and now he'll come home and we'll work together in one big happy family but uh besides that i mean the game is just absolutely gorgeous uh the sound in the game is just phenomenal I don't know how they I don't know it's just it's beautiful it's really beautiful you want to put it in a in a way that would be good to describe this game it's just a nice it's a good looking game and it's wonderful when people when your workers come and give you all these coins um, and as you can see here we've actually upgraded our base we have a wall now um, it's looking pretty solid but maybe I'll cut forward till day 10 and maybe I can show you a little bit more maybe we'll have upgraded by then um, but right now we're just on the move and uh, we'll be right back one more time because uh, I want to show you a little bit further on the progression probably about day 10 and then we'll we'll see what happens there but we'll be right back hello everybody welcome back um, it's day 11 uh, I skipped forward a few days just to show you that we've made progress uh, I don't know if you remember but there used to be a camp here we have pushed the, the trees back um, I think this will be the final day I play. Um, I just wanted to show you the game. Uh, I think if you're into this style of game where you can't attack, you can't do anything except, you know, just build. You're like, you're the foundation. We're going to build a catapult right now, actually. Look at this. These two workers are going to come over here. They're going to build a catapult. And now we have a catapult. We didn't have a catapult before. We just had bow and arrows. Look at that. Um, no, but, uh, this game is really a game about whether or not you, you like this style of gameplay, if you're okay with being the person that's not controlling everything, you know, you're, you're kind of just on the sidelines, but yet, you're not. You're, you're on the edge, you're on, you're the person opening up everything. Um, watch, we can build these trees, and you can really see that we're actually expanding, you know, Kingdom was right here. 
these words and when you first saw them they were covered in trees and now that we have workers going out they're cleaning up everything we can even build a farm here for our for um our new farmers that we upgraded in and i'll show you the town before we leave but you can just see that we've come a really long way um this is only day 11 and you can see that we've come this far so these guys are going to knock down these trees and it really actually clears up the area and this is how you expand and the main goal is to really destroy those portals at the end um, you do have to clear out a lot of stuff and you build your base so that way in a sense that you can eventually move forward and now you can see right now we've basically built this we've cleared out this entire area and these guys are all celebrating but slowly but surely if we have more people come out you can see that the scenery will actually start to disappear like the trees will start receding as you can see right there the bush in front of us will disappear exactly and so now we have more area to cover and these guys are all happy because they know they put in a good day's work so we have a farm right here we'd have to build a farmer they have a, a scythe that they would use um, and I have a lot of money I need to spend uh, we'll upgrade let me see if I can upgrade the town one more time before the end of this video Oh, we can. So right now it's a wooden one. It should be a wall. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Just beautiful. I don't think we can upgrade it anymore. I forgot. I think this is as high as it'll go. I'm not exactly sure what those guys are building. What is that? What exactly is this? So this is a farmer here. You give them a scythe. They'll build a... They'll go to your farm, tend it. They'll build the crops and everything. Uh, I don't know what happened. Why are they rebuilding? Is it just an automatic upgrade? Well, I guess we're going to be attacked, and then we'll see what happens at the end. But this is this is Kingdom, everyone. One of a one of those little niche games that you can find. Um, really cool. I like the aesthetic of it. Shoot that catapult! Look at that. Oh, can't get get wrecked. But you can see now that we've come a really long way. Um, the Kingdom is doing a lot better. And I'm sorry I actually haven't beaten the game, and I haven't actually, I can never beat the game. I, I had a hard time. But they've also updated it, so I don't know if it's easier. When I was playing, I used to think it was very hard to beat the game. I thought the game was exceedingly hard. Oh, let's build it one more time. Come on. Let's let's see how hard we can go. I think it turns into a castle. Um, but basically, that's Kingdom. And, you know, if you like this kind of game where you know you, you're not in charge of everything, but you... You can control basically the the outcome of the game. This game might be for you. If you like this kind of art style, if you like the way it looks, if you like the way it feels, this game might be for you. Um, in terms of enjoyability, I've enjoyed the heck out of it. I like the style, I like the sounds, I like the music, I like everything about this game. But that being said, it might not be for everybody. And that's that's okay. These these games are not meant for everybody. But um, I just wanted to show you guys that, and I know you guys wanted to see maybe another let's look at. And oh, also it's been a while since I posted a video, and I apologize. I've been very busy, very very busy. Um, but this has been Kingdom, everybody. Uh, it is on Steam. I can post the link in the description if you would like to purchase it. A very fun game, very enjoyable. Um, rather simplistic by nature but that's okay games like this are good um but yes thank you all for watching um like and comment if you want to see some more let's plays uh let me know what you think of kingdom if you do like it if you don't like it and uh remember it's more than an addiction over here at chronic gaming and uh we'll talk to you guys later see you in kingdom <laughs>